My name is Aparna Palantino, and I'm the Deputy Commissioner of Capital and Infrastructure at Philadelphia Parks and Recreation. Um, thank you all for coming out this morning. Um, I'm especially happy to see the front row here, who I'm sure is very thrilled to be here, you know, outside on a nice sunny day instead of a classroom. But this is exactly why we do what we do. Um, I'm excited to be here. Uh, not quite to break ground, because as you can see, the construction has started, but to celebrate this project uh, in Stephanie Creek Park, which will provide a safe connection between the north and the south ends of this 300-acre park. Uh, the most significant aspect of this project is not only improving the area underneath the bridge, but the fact that now you no longer have to cross Roosevelt Boulevard to get here. Um, <laughs> And especially for, for these, you know, second graders sitting here, I think that's a key piece in being able to access the park. Um, I know personally, I, I don't find it safe uh, to run across the boulevard. I don't find it safe to drive across the boulevard most days. But So I, I'm really thrilled uh, about this project. Thank you, Aparna, Deputy Commissioner DiPalantino. I just want to point out what just happened behind us. Did you guys see that big um, banner come down from the boulevard that says Proud to Trail? So I think that's a really wonderful backdrop to have here. I just wanted to, to point that out. Um, so thank you so much, um, Deputy Commissioner. We really enjoy working with um, Parks and Recreation and we are thrilled to be here today. Um, I also just want to point out that Representative Dawkins has joined us He's right over there. Um, it's really exciting to be here. We've been waiting for this for a long time. I especially thank the second graders, guys, I see you right there, um, for coming out to join us this morning. It is amazing how perfectly you fit on that log. I don't know what it is. Um, um, as a partner said, our job is to improve our watershed by working with our communities, all the way from the headwaters in Abington and Cheltenham, that way, to the Frankfurt Creek. The way we do that through education, stewardship, restoration, and advocacy is by connecting people to their waterways. That's what this trail and new connection do. They connect neighbors to their creek and to each other. We know that when people get close to water, trees, nature, birds, it impacts them. With a little support, sometimes maybe getting a little wet, um, this connection transforms them into stewards. We see this happening through our extensive restoration work upstream along the Jenkintown Creek, which is one of the tributaries of the um, Tookenee. And if you want to come visit those sites, we'd be happy to take you there. Um, to the cleanups and plantings held by the, T by the TCP keepers right here in Tacony Creek Park. We see this in the relationship that only Christian School has to this gateway park and creek. Um, and I'm excited that Lisa's going to tell you a little bit more about that. Um, I also want you to know that we are ve working very hard to connect this trail, this circuit trail, upstream through Cheltenham. So we're excited about that. We're working with folks in Cheltenham as well as the circuit and the other stakeholders involved because we know that that connection is really important. We need to make, the sh make sure that the trail connects, um, make, uh, makes it successful. Thank you so much for inviting me to be here today at this exciting groundbreaking. I um, am lucky enough to be able to work on two passions, uh, bicycling and public spaces. Um, and together, they give me the opportunity to work not only with the Parks and Rec Department, but also the city's streets department and the Office of Transportation and Infrastructure. And what's happening today, the groundbreaking, celebrating the groundbreaking of this uh, connection between the Tacone, two parts of the Tacone Trail that have been uh, separated uh, all these years is not only an important um, your expand we're going to be expanding the reach of the Tacone uh, Creek Trail to the neighborhoods of Only and Feltonville but also providing an important safety benefit by allowing the neighbors and whoever is visiting this trail to be able to get from one part of it to the other without having to cross Roosevelt Boulevard which is so dangerous and um, and, a, and a place to avoid as a pedestrian and certainly as a bicyclist. So I'm, I'm thrilled that this project is finally coming together and that we're here to celebrate its opening. 
So, you know, there's a lot to be said for growing up in a city, and Philadelphia has a lot of great things to offer theater and sports teams, uh, events going on all the time. But to be honest, this crowd, it's going to be a while before they fully appreciate all that the, the city has to offer in terms of those things. If you were to ask them what their favorite part of the school day was, they would tell you recess or they would tell you lunch. <laughs> so, the so what they're most concerned yeah. about is my friends <laughs> and a place to play. Um, so we have really loved as a school to have the park right across the street from us. And so kids come here for just for recess. So they can cross right from the corner, just have a nice green place to run around and to exercise, um, to just have a lot of fun. They also come here for science. So they've done a lot of hands-on things over the years. Just kindergarten's done living versus non-living things. They've uh, tested the stream water. They've um, we partnered with Audubon for a lot of years. This is like a new generation of very avid birders, so they can make uh, bird sounds for you and identify different types of birds. They've really enjoyed um, and loved doing that over the years. Um, they're also a generation of kids that are concerned about their community and about keeping the city clean, about keeping the parks clean. Um, so every year we partner with Audubon and the watershed to, for Earth Day here, and they're delighted to come clean up you know, pick up the trash, clean up the park, plant flowers, plant uh, bushes, trees. We've, you know, done any number of things over the different years that they've really enjoyed. So there's like already a commitment growing in them to the city and to keeping it clean, which I especially love. Like many people have said, just the safety of them never crossing the boulevard again to me as a principal really resonates very, very deeply in their safety. But um, just at home in school last night, the moms were dreaming about a running club. You know, so they're concerned about fitness and um, you know just having a safe, easy place to do that. Where do you take kids to run or go for a long walk or go for a long, you know, bike ride? Most don't have access to that in their neighborhoods, but now they can, you know, do that. And so they're really eager for that, um, for the opening and helping, hoping to be able to do that in the spring. We're starting to see more and more families use the park after the school day is done. So if you were to ask a couple of these guys. Um, they would tell you, hey, I was down here with my grandpa going for a walk and we saw a deer, right, Edric? <laughs> or we were down here, I was down here with my mom or my dad and we were fishing. We were looking at the fish or we were picking up rocks and, you know, now all those rocks have names. And um, so just, you know, sort of starting to bring families in here. And I love that they have a place uh, to be able to do that. So uh, I know that we don't know the half of it, the work that went into getting to this point, but we definitely reap the fruit of that and we're very grateful for that. So thank you. Ha, <laughs> ha,